Alright, hello guys. It's been a long time since my last video, so I wanted to take the time and go through basically setting up OP25 from from nothing, from scratch, because a lot of things have changed in the time that's uh, elapsed since uh, I first started making these videos. And so, and I know a lot of my audience probably this is the first venture that they've ever had into the Linux world and I know that can be a little bit intimidating for a lot of people so I just want to go through the basic steps that pretty much everyone's gonna have to do to get this up and running so once again I'm working with VMware Workstation I'm fortunate enough to actually have a copy of that and so that makes life a lot easier just in that uh, it's pretty robust you're not going to run into a lot of one-off things that can happen with some of the uh, other options out there and so that's what I prefer to stick with uh, but you can use whatever you would like just know that if you start asking me questions on these videos or anything like that my experience is mainly going to be here with VMware Workstation so with that being said, I'm going to start off with creating a brand new virtual machine. So I'm just going to go to File, New Virtual Machine. And uh, you can see the wizard has popped up here. And I'm just going to tell it I'm going to make a typical virtual machine. I'm going to be using an ISO. And so I've already downloaded the uh, latest version of the long-term service build of Ubuntu. If you're unfamiliar with Ubuntu, when you go to download it, you'll see at least two, but probably three different uh, versions of Ubuntu Desktop. Uh, make sure, number one, that you're getting Ubuntu Desktop. And number two, I recommend sticking with one of the long-term service builds right now. Uh, there's two long-term service builds out there. There's version 16 and version 18 here. Uh, when it comes to Ubuntu, at least the way it's been in the past, and I can see them continuing this trend is the even numbers are your long-term service builds your odd numbers are your latest and greatest with all the newest enhancements enhancements and things like that uh, the reason I recommend sticking with the long-term service builds is they mean exactly that in that um, Ubuntu is going to continue to service them and release updates for them for the long term as opposed to version 19 which is technically the latest version that's out it's only going to be supported until they stop so until they stop releasing it whenever they come out with version 20 and then uh, version 20 should actually become the next long term service build but um, if you stick with the with the version 18 long-term service you're set for a good while so that's what I recommend you get so I'm just gonna choose that ISO here and we'll go through the motions so I'm just gonna call it Boy, username Matt my usual password for things and we'll call this OP25 uh, we'll stick with a 20 gigabyte disk um, let's see so customize the hardware let's take a look and see what it gave me so four two gigs is a you can probably get away with that I've got a pretty beefy machine so I'm gonna give it 4096. I'm also going to bump up the number of processors and my network adapter. Since I'm here at home, I know I can use bridged. Um, you probably want to stick with NAT for yours. Uh, USB controller, I definitely want on there. Sound card, absolutely. We're doing OP25. The rest of this stuff. Like, it won't let you mess with that, so pretty basic stuff here. And yes, I want to power it on after I create it. So here we go, we're booting into it. It's booting from that ISO disk that I downloaded. And 
And at various points during this video, I may fast forward and skip ahead just so that uh, you don't have to sit here and watch this, do this in real time. But for the for the important things where I'm actually changing settings and doing different things, I'll, I'll sl slow it back down and walk you through it. Okay, and we're back. So the install just wrapped up. I can see it auto-created my username. And I'll just enter my password in here. All right. So we'll just go through this guy. Uh, sure, we can go live patching a go. Or not, because I don't want to sign up for a an account right now. Uh, no. Feel free to set this up however you like. I'm just doing my own preferences here. All right. So, those of you new to Ubuntu, you can see here we've got our main desktop. We've got sort of a, an application list over here. We've got a button down here to show more applications, and this is where we actually want to be because we actually want to, I'm just using my scroll mouse here, we want to open up Terminal. Another way to get that is to just click in here and type in Terminal, and you'll see it, and then it'll open it up. Um, software updaters asking, sure, why not? I'll let it update real quick. So. I'm going to let this update and then I'll hit you right back up as soon as it's done. Okay, we're rebooted finally and ready to go. So I'm just going to log back in here. And I'm going to pull that terminal back up. And I'm sure I can, but so now that it's down here, I'm going to tell this that uh, I guess it, I don't know of a way to pin this to the side here. It would be nice, but I'd have to figure that out and I guess come back and show you later. I was hoping I'd be able to right click it. but So we're in my shell here. And um, back in the old days, you'd have to do a little bit more than this but uh, these days installing uh, everything you need to get OP25 up and running should be as easy as um, as a uh, grabbing the files from this git and running through the installer uh, so as you can see I'm using this particular uh, git repo for OP25 by uh, uh, the user boat bod uh, mainly because it's got some uh, additions and fixes and things that you can read about down here. But uh, mainly because it's a little bit more reliable when it's actually hosted here on GitHub. I know sometimes the official repository, which they talk about here at, at Osmocom, sometimes has issues and isn't reliable in my experience to be up 100% of the time. And I know GitHub should be. So I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to run through the commands here and uh, get everything uh, started. So I'll just hide that window and we'll start everything from here and I'll uh, blow this window up bigger so we can see more of what's going on. So I'm going to do a git clone from github.com from boatbod. And we're going to do the op25.git. Oh, and look at that. First problem here, which again, this is a fresh install. I do not have everything that I need to get this going, but it tells me what I need to, to be able to use git. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to let this run, and I'll see you all on the other side when it finishes. Okay, 
and it's done with git. So now I'm just going to arrow up a couple times. I'm going to run this command one more time. So it downloaded everything it needs there. Now, one other thing that I'm going to do is just from experience and things like that, in case it actually does need to compile anything, I'm going to install one more thing. So I'm going to up arrow again a couple times. But instead of a git, since that's already installed, I'm going to do a apt install build essential. And that should grab everything that we need to be able to build things from source. So I'm going to let this run again, and I'll see you again on the other side. Okay, so that was fairly quick and painless. So now that that's ready, I'm going to do a quick list command here to show that... Um, do it in a list format so we can see here when I ran that git command earlier what it did is it went and downloaded uh, all the files that were located on that git repository here so mainly it's got some files in here that tell it what not to grab and what to grab so it basically grabbed everything that was in the op25 folder and uh, the install folder and everything there so so I can see that it created the op25 folder, so I'm going to change directory into the op25, and what I just did there is you saw me type op, and then I hit tab because it will auto-complete things for me. So I can see op25 there, and let's take a look at the files in there. So you can see it's got that same op25 folder from uh, the repository here that you can see here and then we've got our install.sh and all these other files it pulled all those automatically and created that folder and stuck them all in here so now my next step is to run this install command so install.sh and you can see i did a dot slash which the dot just signifies hey run it run a file that's in this folder and the slash again is just telling it hey dot slash in this folder install.sh the dot sh file is um, is a shell command file where it basically runs through and automates this whole process for you so we'll just run it and it'll run through now it may at some point prompt me for my password we'll see it may not though because I already did those uh, the sudo apt installs earlier where it asked for my password and so it may still have that cache temporarily which is something that it uh, sometimes will do. Uh, eventually, though, if you wait long enough and run those install commands again, it will time out and ask you for that password again. So we're going to let this run, and I'll pick it back up when it's finished. Okay, so the install script finished there, and I did see it compiling some stuff. So it's good we had those other tools installed. Now the install script may actually have accounted for that and installed it if it was missing, but um, just in case, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and make sure that it was there. But we can see down here at the bottom that it's saying that in order to do any plotting, we need to install GNU plot. So... Okay, so I'm just going to copy this exact command that it tells me and then paste it into here and run it. And yes, and then we'll let it download that and install it. So really, at this point, that's it when it comes to getting OP25 installed. The next step is going to be to configure it. And so that I'm going to bust into another video and cover uh, very shortly. So uh, that's it for now, and thanks for watching.